Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about why 99% of you guys will probably fail with Shopify, but if you change these things that you're probably already doing, you'll probably start to see success, uh, some success, start to see some sales coming in and ultimately be able to scale to a legitimate business that you can actually live off of. All right guys, so before we jump in, three quick things. If you're not already subscribed, we're dropping free value every single day, so why would you not subscribe? Go ahead and hit that red button. Also hit the like and notification bell so you can be notified every single time we drop the content, which is every single day. So you're gonna wanna be notified, and let's jump in. All right guys, so this is why 99% of people fail with Shopify. I'm gonna go over, I think it's like seven different points. I might make up some more as I go, as I think about them, but uh, yeah, let's jump in. So the first one is that, um, and I see so many people, especially beginners do this, is you pick uh, your product before you know the marketing. Uh, before you know the marketing, okay? And what do I mean by this? There's so many people, they, they see like, you know, certain YouTubers be like, yo, you know, this anchor bracelet, this is the hot topic, let's go promote this. Or, you know, this certain uh, other bracelet, it was a certain necklace, it's a thing to do, go promote it. So people end up putting it on their website, but when they put it on their website, they have no idea how to market it, they have no idea who buys it, how much they should sell it for, uh, what the marketing is, um, you know, how to actually set up ads, all that kind of different stuff. So they end up just wasting money and uh, ultimately fail at doing it. So what's the remedy for this? What you do, instead of picking your product before, actually, um, well, this is assuming, let, let me actually do this. I'll, I'll do number two so I, that I can explain this. But um, number two is uh, running Facebook ads without knowing what you're doing. Okay, so this was me for a long time. This was me, um, basically I, I probably spent about $1,000 that was wasted. I made like two sales off of $1,000 on Facebook ads. Uh, because I literally didn't know what I was doing because I've never done it before. I watched videos, I bought courses, but I didn't have a mentor, you know, kind of showing me how to do it. So I, I failed miserably. So instead of doing this, the what you should do instead is uh, run Instagram influencer shoutouts, okay? And I have a bunch of, uh, you know, videos on my channel that you can check out about how to actually run that, how to reach out to them, how to negotiate, all that kind of different stuff. So you can check it out. I'm not going to go super in depth in this video. But I would recommend checking out Instagram influencer shoutouts instead because it's much easier to make money. You make money um, basically as soon as you as you post. I've made you know sales within five minutes as opposed to waiting and, and scaling. Um, and it's generally cheaper and you get a better ROI. So going back to number one, um, picking your product before you know the marketing, what should you do first before you pick your product? You should pick your influencers, okay? And I talked about this in a few different videos, but basically you wanna find things that are popular on Instagram, things like fitness, things like uh, you know, gym pages, motivational pages, uh, entrepreneurial pages, cat pages, dog pages, all this kind of stuff is super popular on Instagram. So if you can tap in and find some influencers, some pages that have a big following, that means that you can probably get into that. So pick your influencers first and they will actually tell you your product because you'll start to see products being promoted on those, uh, you know, on those influencer pages. So moving on to number three, let's see. Um, it's that people have too many products, okay? Uh, let me actually spell right. Um, and not only that they have too many products, but they have too many products um, with no plan, okay? So I see so many people, as myself included when I first started, is they import like 100 products because they think, hey, I need to be the next Nike, right? But what's, what ends up happening is it's they just have no plan for how they're actually gonna market it, which goes back to our number one. So instead of importing a bunch of random products, or even worse, what I see, some people you know import a bunch of products that are in the same niche, but sometimes I've done website audits and stuff, and if actually if you wanna get a website audit, you can hit me up on, on Instagram and I'll do that. Um, but so many people, they'll, they'll send me their website and it'll be like you know some sort of women's fashion, maybe like a hairband or something, but then, in the same website, they'll have like cat products, and it's like, you know, these don't match. What are we doing? So, um, too many products with no plan, um, too general of a store, right? So many people have too too general of a store, meaning it's very hard to make sales. If you can target one specific person, which goes back to, again to number one, if you can target some specific person, you have a much better chance of actually being able to make a sale. So, make sure that you have a niche store as opposed to a general store in that case. Uh, let's see if we can do, there we go, number four, is uh, spend too much time, and this, this kind of builds off of number three, um, but perfecting things, okay? 
So this is things like that, that are not unimportant, but not as important as, as other things. So you should be spending your time on income producing tasks. That's reaching out to influencers, that's building ads, that's um, optimizing your website, that's you know doing all these different things. What you shouldn't be spending a lot of time on is things like your logo. You know, that, that shouldn't be, I mean, is it important? Yes, but it's not vitally important. What you should be spending time on instead is your product descriptions, your scarcity, your product photos, which you, you know, you can get high quality photos, um, your pricing, how you're actually marketing. Shouldn't be spending time on things like uh, your website colors, um, just like general design. Honestly, I just use free designs. I don't buy any sort of themes or anything uh, for Shopify because you don't need to. Um, maybe if you want to scale to like ridiculous levels, it might help a little bit. But honestly, uh, the aesthetics of your website past a certain point don't help that much um, and don't increase revenue that much. So don't spend all your time on perfecting things. Just get your website up and start testing. That's the biggest thing is start testing as soon as possible. So uh, the next one, going back to our Instagram influencer page is that uh, too many people pick uh, too general of influencer pages and I don't think that's uh, proper English but we're going to go with it so um, if you pick general pages things like meme pages things like uh, comedy pages things like um, I see this all the time people uh, advertising on like men's fashion women's fashion all these are super general, meaning that there's a wide audience that's interested in it, which is cool for the page because it can get a bunch of followers. However, it's hard for you to actually market a product because uh, let's just take women's fashion for example. You have like a headband or something that you promote to this women's fashion page. Chances are not everybody or most people in that are not interested in that specific headband. However, if you have a headband that has like you know, some sort of bee on it, or yeah, let's just say, or like those cat headbands, right? The ones that have the cat ears. What if instead of marketing that to women's fashion, yeah, it's a fashion product, but instead you market it to cat pages. Now you have people that are interested in cats, maybe not necessarily interested in headbands, but they might be. So you have a much better chance of actually being able to make a sale. So instead of picking general influencers, uh, like I talked about memes, fashion, all that kind of different stuff, pick specific niche oriented, uh, uh, pages so uh, specific niche oriented okay and you can find this obviously by just doing an Instagram search again using things that are very popular on Instagram because you want to have a wide audience that you'd be able to actually market to okay uh, number six is that people are afraid to lose money and I get this um, it's it's hard especially when you're starting out you have like 50 hundred bucks whatever and if you lose that then you're done I get why people are afraid to lose money However, you also have to realize that this is business. This is entrepreneurship. This isn't a job. Um, at a job, you can always go make more money. And honestly, if you're scared of losing money, you can actually just go get a job and start making more money. But if you're afraid to lose money, you're never going to actually make money. If I was afraid to lose $1,000, I would never realize that, oh, wait, I need to figure out a different way than Facebook ads to do it. And I would never be at the point that I'm at doing Instagram influencers. If I was afraid to lose like 50 bucks on an Instagram influencer, I would never have the chance to make $600 in a day. So um, it's just the, the thing, like there's a certain risk tolerance that you have to have. Now, obviously you have to have like, you know, specific uh, calculated risk. You have to be smart about it, you have to do your research, but you can't be afraid to lose money, um, you know, if, if it comes down to that. And that's just, the, it comes down to the entrepreneurial spirit that comes down to how bad you want it. Because Ultimately, if you have $50, you lose $50, you can go make $50. Go mow someone's grass, go get a job at McDonald's, go do whatever you want. Um, but if you never actually spend that, then you'll never have a chance to make more. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's inspiring to, to kind of help you guys realize uh, in the grand scheme of things how this all works. And number seven, and uh, this, is, this is one that is... Uh, I see all the time is that people just never start okay they watch all these videos they watch my videos they watch you know other people's videos they, they know everything about how to do it not everything but they know a lot about more than the average person about how to actually start uh, you know making money on Shopify and if they just implemented what they did they could totally go out and crush it but they either are afraid to lose money they're just lazy they don't want to take action whatever it is they never actually start so they end up just like turning their wheels and then wondering why nothing's actually happening so if you want to see results, you have to start and you have to start fast and you have to fail fast because most likely, let me tell you guys, you're going to fail for the first week, the first two weeks. I failed for the first month and a half before I started seeing results. But if you never start, you're never going to know. So get started. Do all these tips. Check it out. 
Um, these are things that I wish I knew when I was starting. So hopefully they're helpful for you guys. If this video was valuable at all, if you found any sort of value, any sort of motivation, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, it helps me out a lot. Also hit the like button if you liked it and comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with and uh, you know what this video might help you with or what you wanna learn in the future because I'm ultimately trying to get you guys all to $100 a day, which is honestly a very reasonable goal. Um, especially because if you just follow the videos that I've, uh, you know, that I've done thus far, you should have no problem getting to $100 a day, and I truly believe that. So go ahead, and if you haven't already watched those, but um, if you have specific questions, go ahead and DM, DM me on Instagram at Nash Hagen. Always responding to guys, always responding to, and love helping you guys. So go ahead and do that, and uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh.